Now, the Verizon Samsung partnership is incredibly strategic. We started the world's first 5G radio access network deployment together. We've blazed trails for virtualized cell site infrastructure through our VRAM program. Uh, and the innovation that occurs between both teams uh, is based on mutual understanding of what's important for technology development and a common appreciation for the customer experience uh, and a commitment to innovation and cost efficiency for the operator. Our VRAM program with Samsung is based on three main factors. The first is cost efficiency, the second is network reliability and performance, and the third is a constant innovation towards the customer experience. From a cost standpoint, our ability to deploy a common infrastructure to a cell site uh, and then run various software programs on it, specifically VRAN with Samsung, has been incredibly cost effective for us. When you can put general purpose compute um, and, and commodity hardware in a site and accommodate multiple different software functions, it's an incredibly efficient deployment for us. It opens up new doors for innovation, uh, everything from cell site optimization um, to other compute resources that can be made available. Um, and eventually you're putting a whole layer of programmability on top of your cloud-based VRAN architecture to improve the customer experience, uh, improve the agility for software delivery, uh, and overall make the network perform at a much higher level. So VRAN comes with it, a massive increase in programmability, customization, and service agility, much like we saw on the core network when we moved from physical plant to virtual network functions. With VRAN, we can layer on orchestration uh, for software deployments. We can layer on service improvements through our uh, SON applications that run on our VRAN network, uh, and all geared towards improving network reliability and delivering a much better customer experience in a much faster time. So beyond today's VRAN deployments and all the benefits around the customer experience, service programmability and agility, uh, orchestration and automation, the big impact here is as an operator, Verizon has a much better place to start from when it comes to 5G advanced capabilities, all of the cool stuff that's going on with automation and orchestration, and later down the road for 6G. We've got an architecture that allows for incredible flexibility, programmability, and service agility, and you physically can't replicate that in a physical deployment.